to Crafty Purple Dragon. Thank you for stopping by. Today I've got something a little bit different from diamond painting, which is what my channel's featured up until now. But I came across this and it looked quite similar but quite different. You'll see what I mean in a minute. I don't know if any of you have come across this before. However, I thought I'd give it a go. And maybe some of you would find it interesting. So, to start off with, I'll show you the picture. There. So I thought it was quite appropriate. It's a purple dragon. After all, I am a crafty purple dragon channel. Um, this is called Idris Purple. The code is K06069. I ordered this on the 17th of March and it came, it was dispatched on the 18th and it came on the 20th. Okay, so I don't need to see my invoice. Here it is. It's called Mosaic Craft. Um, I've got something with compliments. I think that those are clips to join it together when you've finished it. So, have any of you come across Mosaic Craft? So the kit was £45. This is what's called a six base image. So you put little mosaic, little plastic mosaics onto some little pegs um, so this has got you know there's two plates there two plates there two plates there and that makes up the six plates of the image um, I went onto the website and I printed off some instructions so I've got those here to follow uh, so the kit itself was £45 I bought it direct from the company off their website, which is mosaicraft.co.uk. Postage was £4.50, so it cost me £49.50 altogether. Oh, of course, the kit includes instructions, which I've already bought, uh, printed off. There is a phone number there as well, a mobile number, an email address. Uh, and like I say, I think these clips, complimentary clips that you get if you buy direct off the website is um, for when it's completed. So, we'll open it up and have a look. Uh, I, wanna, I don't want to... Rip the bag, here we go. Oh god, what sort of container am I going to need to keep all this lot in? So, I've never done this before, never seen it before, so please bear with me. But I thought we might as well have a go together. Now, I don't want to lose these, but I don't want to put it with this bag in case I decide to throw it away. So, I will just stick 
those in my little basket there and hope they don't get knocked out okay so there's some quite considerable paperwork here okay so these are the pattern sheets uh, and I've got a parts list okay uh, so I'll have a look at that in a minute so there's pattern sheets which we'll have a bit more of a look at in a minute instructions come with it which I'll need but I think they duplicate I haven't got a magnetic board so these I printed these off the website and it looks like uh, it's virtually the same as these and then I've got the base plates three six and then these are the the mosaic bits or the beads and I've got two bags of those so now normally if it was a If it was a diamond painting, I'd be doing an inventory. So I suppose I should do the same thing. So the six base plates, so that's those. One, two, I've already counted them. Why am I counting them again? Ah, they're different sizes. No, they're not. They're just stuck together. Off, sen off uh, skew wifi. They are the same. Are the same size okay yeah same size right so six base plates and then this is packet one of two that's packet two of two now it says number of number of pixel squares 118 I'm not sure what that means I think that's these Two, four, six, eight, ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty. So yeah, that's about that's about one hundred and twenty altogether. So that looks right. Number of colours fifty one. Pixel squares needed per colour. Right. Okay. So um, I don't know if you. It, if it'll be able to be seen on the camera but uh, I just need to put a timer on otherwise I'll get cut off forgot to put my timer on my bad my bad right Oh my god. Uh, at least these bits are all like kept together. You know, unlike the little beads that we use for diamond painting, <laughs> where you end up spilling beads everywhere. You, you know, if you spill these on the floor, they're a lot easier to pick up, aren't they? They're not going to get stuck in your uh, stuck in your feet or up the vacuum. So these are the, what they call pixel squares. So I've got 118 of these all together across a range of 51 colours. And then on the backs in the middle, you may not be able to see, but there is a number. So I'm guessing that's the number that corresponds to this. So I shall do an inventory, which I'll uh, speed up. 
in post. Okay, so everything is here. I have had some drop-offs. So yeah, that seems to be a thing. Anyway, let's give it a go. So, I'll pack all that lot away after. Uh, but. I just thought I'd give it a little bit of a go, maybe do a couple of the patterns. Give you an idea. So the instruction says, Everything you need is included in the kit with the exception of tweezers. Blunt ended our best to avoid scratching or damaging the tiles. Well, I've got plenty of tweezers. Where are my blunt ended ones? Just add them. Just add them when I was doing my painting. Oh, I'll find them in a minute. Uh, a magnetic board and strips are excellent for keeping the ba base plate in. Well, I've got blue tack, it's fine. Find an embossed arrow on the smooth side of the baseboard. Ensure this is facing the same way on every de design so you know which way it, up it goes if you drop it. Place the base plate onto the top rank rectangle on the first page of the design sheets. Find the first symbol alongside the rectangle. Right, so hold on a minute. Let me get dig my base, might as well do the thing as I'm uh, talking through the instructions I quite like it now of course these aren't shiny so you won't get the sparkle that you get with a diamond painting but I do like I do like you know the fact that it's a similar way of constructing a picture um, you know diamond painting is um, now of course these aren't in any order uh, although they, I think they were as I was bringing them out of the bag uh, where's the embossed arrow okay so you probably won't be able to see it but on the edge of these base plates, there's little cutouts here. It's like a dovetail joint. And these little things that I've got will fit in there to keep these, to put these plates together when the image is finished. Now, I'm trying to find this embossed arrow. Um. I 
and I can't see one. Embossed arrow. Hmm. Oh, hold on. Right, so on the back of here it says Pixel Hobby. Because there's various different... Oh, I can't show you. So this is called Mosaic Craft. But there is... Oh, no. I did notice that there was also a thing called Pixel Hobby. And embossed in here it says... Oh, it's a massive arrow. <laughs> it says Pixel Hobby. So Pixel Hobby is obviously a similar thing. So the embossed arrow takes up the whole of the back of the base plate. Oh, you can just see it there, look. I was looking for a small arrow. <laughs> I think you can see that it says Pixel Hobby there. Um, right, so that's the right way round. Now, I just need to move some stuff out of the way to make space. A little bit. A little bit of space. Because uh, I've got all these things all over the place. I need to put these in some sort of order, obviously. But for now... Uh, and I'm not actually going to, you know, I'm just going to start this for the purposes of demonstration, but I'm doing my little uh, diamond painting that I kitted up the other day, which is my pup to wolf, dog to wolf. Right, so I think I've got enough space to put the pattern out now. So I've got my board the right way around. I can stick it down with a bit of blue tack, pink tack. Like that. Let me put it up here a bit so you can see better. Oh, I can't do that, can I? Because I need to put my thing underneath it. Uh, Place the base plate onto the top rectangle on the first page of the design sheets. Right, so it's that way around. So, how am I supposed to know which way is up when it's landscape and the arrow goes portrait? So that's helpful. So, hmm. I'm going to go left, arrow left, so let me just write that down, what do I do with my pen? Right, so uh, I'm not going to mark the thing, but uh, find an embossed arrow on the smooth, and sure this is facing the same way, oh right, the same way on every design, it was me that just said same way up. So. I'm going to have it pointing left. Okay. So, let's get these out of the way. Try and colour match those. Jesus. Other little bits of plastic rolling around the house. My husband's going to be well happy when he gets home. Right, so, let's stick that down there. Base plate one. Pixel colour one one four is a black square. So I've got to find one one four. <laughs> what do I need? One one four, one one six, one twenty, one twenty two. This is the 200s. One forty, one two two. I need that. I need one two two. I need none of these other colours. <laughs> 105, no, oh no, 120. 
120. 114. What was the other one? 116. It's not in there. God damn it! <laughs> Sod's law, it's going to be in there. Oh, these are 300s. What's going on? I must have skipped past it. Right, I've got 114. 120 and one right so it's 116 I need For God's sake I'll speed this up <laughs> 105 153 148 147 116 there look God damn okay so now I need to find my tweezers uh What happened to him? God's sake, my um, work area is getting a bit. Uh, right, let's get some of those out. Alright, let's see if these will do. Blunt ended tweezers. Okay, so base plate is down. I got me some tweezers. Not quite straight. Um, sorry if my big head's in the way. Right, that's better. I think there's actually little pins underneath now. So, I've got some tweezers. Sorry about that, rude interruption there. Okay, so find the first symbol alongside the rectangle. So, a black square. And note the pixel colour number represented, right? So it's 114, which is that colour. It's like a pale blue colour. Locate this number of on the coloured pixel squares it's located on the reverse in a circle cover all of the black squares on the rectangle with this colour right so I've got four five six seven rec um, black squares on this so Pick, oh god. Pick off a little bead. It's got, you probably can't see, but it's got a little hole in it, which we have to. Oh, I need my other tweezers. Place over the peg. Oh my god. <laughs> So faffy. Right, let me see if I can zoom you in. A bit more so you can see what I'm doing. Wait for my phone to cut my camera to catch up. There we go. Hopefully get a bit nearer. I'm 
that focused. Excuse my nails, they need doing. Um, right, so we have to put this over this little peg and we have to press it down. Now, I did while I was out, I bought some little. I don't know. Them. I just bought them. Aha! They're actually for working with hot glue. Um, which I will be doing soon, but they might be quite handy for this because I now need to press it down. And I was thinking, I might end up with my fingers getting sore if I'm having to keep pressing. So that's on there now. So that's one. So the next, next one is here. I'm not quite sure how far I need to push them down yet. Oops. Oh my god. So it might be better with a bit of metal. Push it down. Good grief. I'm sure, like anything, there's a knack. And once you get into it, probably ends up being a lot quicker. Yeah. Now then, putting them adjacent to each other. Oh, I'm sorry. Is it that because my head's getting in the way? Sorry. Uh, yeah, actually, I'll have that on this finger. No, that just kind of dulls my sense of touch. Actually, once you start getting into it, I should imagine that like diamond painting you get used to, there we go, like slipping them over. So that's all the squares, so that's all that colour on this one. So next is circles, and that's 116. Which isn't that one, and it isn't that one, that one. So, circles. get these off you have to kind of grip and twist and pull
Yeah, it definitely helps to use both hands, like place them over the pin, the peg, with your tweezers and then press it down with your other finger. Do you know what? I quite like it. So once you get the knack of it, I'm sure it will um, it'll grow faster. You know, obviously I'm a noob. Uh, And I've not got the hang of using the, you know, doing the thing, but I quite like it. Okay, it's got the same sort of therapeutic uh, effect of diamond painting, but just in a, a slightly different way. Now, the only thing that's slightly disappointing is the fact that there's not going to be any sparkle and we do like sparkle don't we so to be honest I don't know that this would would be something that I would necessarily do too much of I don't know let's see how I feel after I've done it now with this kit you can get this particular kit with a four base uh, I didn't check actually, but my assumption was that the, these bases are all the same um, size and therefore a four base would be less detailed than the six base, which is why I went for the six base. Get in there. Maybe I should have asked. So obviously I've got to fill this, well, yeah, I've got to fill this with pixels by working through the patterns. I suppose I should write on what number, what base plate this is. I don't suppose it matters once you've finished it. I wonder if two sets of tweezers would be better. I like it, I like it.
Okay, so I finished doing that first part of the pattern. Base plate one, panel one, done. I don't know if you saw um, whilst I was doing it, but I did start kind of getting into a swing of a, you know, pulling the, twisting the, whatever you call it, sleeve off the grid, putting it on and pressing it down with my finger. Um, so I can imagine that quite easily, you know, you'll get into a rhythm and speed up doing it. The thing that I did find was my finger, you can see, I've got little indentations in my finger from pressing down on the pegs. But again, you'll get you'll get the hang of that and you know, when, when you've been doing it for a bit, you'll start to know how far you have to press down and actually once you get into it, I can imagine that you just need to put the sleeve over the peg and just press it down with the um, tweezers. So I quite enjoyed that. Again, I think it's something that you can just sort of lose yourself in. Now, what I'm going to do is... I am going to, not that it matters, oh no I've just pulled one off, damn it, I just pulled one off then, sorry about that my camera died, however I did get around to buying some spare batteries so I've just been able to swap batteries over, now I thought I'd knocked off the purple uh, thing, but I can't see where it's supposed to go. Uh, there doesn't seem to be anything missing when I've put that back on. Now, I thought as well that maybe I can use the process of rolling that we use on our beads, our diamond painting beads to make sure that they've all gone on properly. So anyway, like I say, I wanted to do at least the first pattern for you to show you, give you the gist. Um, what I'm going to do is just put a little mark there to show that I've done that. And I'm going to, if I can, write on this. One. And then I know that I'm doing base plate one. Just for my own purposes. And then... The problem I've got with this is the position of my for the next rectangle my two little bits of sticky tack can't be where they were for the last one so I can put one in the middle here and I can put one there, so I'll do that. And then we'll line it up. And I'll stick it down again. <laughs> right, so that's ready for me to start the second part of the pattern. 
and if we've got if you've got the beads beads I'll call them beads for the sake of it if you've got things in the right place your previous things shouldn't be obscuring any of your patterns for this one nearly obscured a zero, a circle there I just need to go that way a little bit there we go okay so I thought I'd show you that I thought it was quite interesting similar to diamond painting but different I'm not sure what I'm going to do storage wise with these I suppose I could spend a night sitting pulling them off the uh, things and putting them in my little tubs but oh that spare one fell out of there look confused me I thought I'd pulled it off but I hadn't it just fell out of there pulling them off and putting them in a box and labelling it with the number but I don't know that I want to do that but what I am going to do is try and get them in numerical order at least and then put them back in the bags yeah hmm I'll have to think about that anyway this is Mosaic Craft the design is Idris Purple. They do have it in red, I think. Don't know if they have this in, a, in any other colours. Uh, the code is K06069. The six base version is £45 and it cost me £4.50 shipping. That's within the UK. I'm not sure if they ship overseas. But you can find them on... Uh, or you can email them on mosaicraft.co.uk uh, and there's their email and their phone number okay so I hope that was uh, interesting for you thanks for joining me and we'll see you next time um, if you did enjoy it Please leave a like down below. Um, any comments, that would be great. Any questions. Um, subscribe if you haven't already. And click the notification bell if you'd like to be notified when I do post any videos. Thanks very much. Bye. Hi, sorry, it's just a little add-on. I was thinking about storage and what I've come up with is um, this cardboard box. Now, this is a box that I got, I can't remember what I got in it. But it's been lying around. We have an area in the house where we have cardboard boxes in case we have to send anything out that like my husband sells stuff on eBay don't even ask um, well buys and sells stuff on eBay so um, we keep boxes in case he has to send anything out that he sold on eBay or whatever um, so I pressed it into service and ha ha Ta -da. Um, it doesn't quite fit the A4 sheets in but they do bend over nicely and tuck in down there and then I've put the colours in number order with the numbers facing forward so that I can see them um, and it's lowest to highest lowest to highest lowest to highest I've got a couple of little containers here for any spare uh, bits that fall off 
I've got my tweezers um, and then under here I've got the spare base plates and those are the plastic bags that came in and then obviously I've got the patterns and the drill uh, not the drill the base plate that I'm working on at the moment is on this piece of paper so I just wanted to show you that I managed to find a, a way to store it um, that should hopefully be workable okie dokie Bye.